So now we know from the last video that in order to work out whether we add or subtract, we're going to have to take the exclusive or of the signs of the two inputs, x and y. So we'll build a little circuit here that will do that for us now. We're going to add in an actual circuit here for the add and subtract. So we'll go to project, add circuit, and in here we can call this uh, add space subtract. So that's us got the circuit here. Now we'll click on that and we're going to use the exclusive or so we can go to gates and we've got the exclusive or there. And it's going to be a two input. And one of the inputs is going to be SX. So we can go to wiring, we'll go to the tunnel, we'll face it east, and we'll call it capital S small x. And that's going to be a one bit, but two inputs. And this here is going to be again a one bit. And we'll copy that, control C, control V, and that's going to be the sign of our Y inputs. We'll call that SY. Now, whether we add or subtract, we're going to call that SZ. So we can put another tunnel here, we'll face it the west direction, and again, it's going to be a one bit, and that's our SZ. So remember, SZ is not saying the sign of the output. SZ is telling us whether we're going to add or subtract. So this is all we've got so far in our top level circuit for our adder and subtractor. Now what we can do is we could get a project, edit circuit appearance, and we'll change the appearance of this top level circuit. So we'll make it a bit bigger and we'll grab these and shift them down. So that shifts down to there. And we'll grab that one, shift it down to there. And we're going to call this add subtract. So we'll put in the A there and it'll allow us to add in a caption. So we'll call this uh, add space sub Now there's nothing in it, really very little in it at the moment, but at least we've got a symbol here for it. So we can get into the top level and we can pick out this new add subtract block and we can put it here. And of course we can shift stuff down a bit just to make it a little bit neater. So we've got the start of our adder and subtractor, but the only thing that's inside it right now is the method of finding whether we add or subtract, but at least it's a start and it's an easy little start to the rest of the adder and subtractor. So thank you for listening to this video, I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.